Hello and welcome to another episode of Rising from the Ashes. Um, thank you for all your comments uh, on the videos which we put out so far. Uh, it has been very encouraging and is kind of giving me a lot, lot more courage to let's say look do a lot more of these videos. Um, today we are going to talk about uh, one of the, if not the most important consideration when you start to quit smoking, and that is when do you stop smoking? As in in terms of the actual time, place, etc. And that's really what I want to cover today. Uh, this is a precursor uh, to the next video which I'm going to do, which is going to be, you know, what to expect on day zero and day one. Uh, we can kind of think of this as preparation for day one, you know, what is, you know, what are the considerations? Uh, when do you stop smoking? And, you know, what are some of the kind of, let's say, what kind of day, what kind of place, and, you know, what some of the things to prepare. Right, so, uh, I think, uh, you know, like they say, there's no time to start like now, and that's true, even for smoking, uh, to stop smoking. But uh, I think there are some considerations we should keep in mind when we do, you know, uh, when we quit smoking. Uh, obviously, we don't want to do it in a day when you're going to be stressful, so don't do it on the day of your a big presentation, or things like that, all right? Uh, don't start during like a chaotic uh, work week or you know, a week when you ex generally expect to be stressed because uh, especially in the early periods when you start you know when you're starting to quit smoking uh, your natural instinctive response would be to smoke and you won't even realize it so uh, make sure that you choose a time uh, when uh, you know you can be conscious and fully focus on your journey to quit smoking right which rules out, you know, starting on a Monday morning, for example. I've tried it once and, you know, it lasted only till Monday afternoon. So, let's, uh, so so I think uh, that kind of, for most people, uh, depending on how we work, etc., uh, kind of uh, uh, points towards, you know, starting on a weekend. I would, you know, I would highly recommend uh, starting to quit on a Saturday morning, for example, you know. Uh, that way, the first two couple of days which are the most difficult you will kind of get through uh, on, on a weekend you will also have the experience of you know not smoking in the weekday in the first like couple of days so that kind of gives the right balance <clears throat> having said that if you're starting on a saturday please don't uh, let's say have a big night out the day before and uh, because you don't want to kind of let's say have a hangover or things like that and you know really struggle on the day you're quitting smoking uh, you want to be really as fresh as possible in the best uh, mindset uh, and so that you can really focus on that uh, don't obviously have a lot of plans for that weekend i assure you you will not be able to do a lot in that weekend you're quitting you will kind of be focusing a lot on managing your emotions and thoughts etc uh, uh, another important uh, consideration is uh, make sure to tell everybody your near and dear ones around you that uh, to expect some changes in uh, let's say behavior and emotions you, you are for sure going to be cranky do not be surprised if you do end up crying a couple of times so <clears throat> You have to tell your kind of, let's say, partner or who you live with to kind of be cognizant of that. Uh, and most importantly, I think uh, our loved ones might kind of look at our kind of, um, let's say, mental state and say, hey, you know, why don't you just smoke if you're feeling so bad about it? Uh, we should tell them to kind of not kind of encourage that thought at all, right in advance, right? I think this is one of the most important preparation steps you can do, which is, you know, on those days when you're going to start quitting smoking, you should not have anybody kind of giving you, let's say, encouragement to start smoking again, right? Even though they might be doing it thinking they're helping you and they might be doing it thinking, you know, you're feeling really down. So we have to prepare our love, loved ones for that. I think uh, one last thing and I'll uh, wrap up. Uh, I think uh, one of the things is kind of make sure you set up a, a lot of uh, distractions, you know, you know, already plan a couple of movies to watch, already have a couple of books to read. Uh, and it's not just about sitting, having movie, movies or series to watch or books to read. Uh, to distract you during that period it is also just make sure you do like a preliminary scan to make sure that you know it doesn't have a character who is always chain smoking or whatever uh, and i'm telling you this reason because telling you for the reason that you know any trigger in a yeah, in, in the early period is going to cause problems for us we are the most vulnerable in those first few days uh, so you know it's good to kind of 
even the distractions we set up for ourselves, it's good to make sure that there are no kind of triggers in that. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think uh, most importantly, choose a date, uh, which kind of, let's say, enables you to do all of the above. Uh, choose a date which enables you to uh, take it easy, choose a date where you don't have stress, uh, choose a date when, you know, you will have the support of your loved ones, uh, and yeah, choose a date when you can kind of uh, spend the first two, three days, uh, you know, really focusing on your journey to bidding and not really on <clears throat> other things. Um, I will, we will be talking about, you know, day zero, day one, day two, and day three, which are to me the most important days in a quitting journey uh, in the next couple of videos. Uh, so please do watch out for that. Uh, but until then, you know, uh, think about it, figure out a time and uh, best of luck in your journey to quit smoking. Uh, yeah, you've been watching Rising from the Ashes. Please, if you like the content, uh, uh, please do click the subscribe button. It will really encourage us to produce more and more content. And if you do have any questions or any comments, please do share below. Thanks. Bye.